What the heck is this? What's going on guys? My name is Hydros and we have some Pokemon Go adventures here today as I went about and explored the world around me for some Pokestops, some gyms, and for some wild Pokemon. And as you guys can see, we found some, some Rattatas here. Got a lot of Pokestops around me. Got a gym and everything like that, which in the next episode or a later episode, we will go ahead and tackle a gym. But first of all, I need to get my levels up need to get those higher cps so we can actually take on the gyms because a lot of the cps around here actually have very high cp pokemon and it's just like why i live like in the like rural like i don't know what to explain it as i live in a place where you wouldn't think many people would play pokemon go but pokemon go is slowly sweeping the nation and it's awesome as you guys can see i get some pokestops here getting some pokeballs because you guys don't know i actually <laughs> i've run out of pokeballs quite a bit here so in, instead of going and just buying pokeballs in the in the uh in the store or whatever i actually go to the pokestops and like just pretty much go get some pokeballs because i i need them as well as some potions and stuff like that but i did take on a gym it was actually really fun to take on a gym and stuff like that which you guys will see in, the, in another episode here but again uh this is post commentary because the mic that i record with is not with me in the car i can't bring my yeti with me in the car so i literally just go out and record some gameplay for you guys and then i'm gonna snip it all together for you and that's pretty much gonna be my the pokemon go adventures with me here i'll just voice over and show you guys the awesome stuff that i did and, and are going to do in pokemon go right now i'm just going through some uh some pokestops getting some items and whatnot in in reality i was not actually walking i was actually literally driving my car through town going to all these pokestops literally i i feel like someone was gonna catch me here but here you guys can see we found another Pokestop as it just changed from night to day, obviously. <laughs> and uh, this Pokestop was giving me the worst trouble because this hot dog place is like, yo, I don't want to give you anything. I just, it, it just did not want me to get any items from it because in like this, the area that it was in, it's like the, the, the area, it's like the, the my phone service like disconnected and it was just like, what are you doing? And I see a Jolteon, a Jolteon of all Pokemon are around me as I'm going through here. I'm like, Jolteon, come on, dude. I'm sitting here going, I got to drive around. I'm going to drive around and see if I can find this Jolteon. And it never shows up. I'm sitting there going, come on, Jolteon, please pop up as EVs pop up and everything else. I'm just like, no, I don't want an EV. Although EV does evolve in the Jolteon. So I'm like, you know, what? let's catch this EV anyway and be like, you know, let's see if we can catch it. Maybe it'll evolve in the Jolteon level on level CP 77 EV. Not too terribly bad. I found higher before, but I'm, gonna, I'm like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and catch this EV because, you know, maybe we can get this one with Jolteon. I think... You know, certain moves evolve the EVs into Jolteon or Vaporeon or Flareon, and I have a Flareon, believe it or not, but people behind me are probably like, what are you doing? What is this guy doing doing this? And also, we do level up to level 7 in this episode, and we get some Pokeballs, a Potion, Revive, and an Incense, which I used my Incense literally while I'm at home. I'm not too smart about using the incense while I'm driving or out and about, so I'm literally just sitting here. And I see this Oddish, and I'm sitting there going, oh, I gotta go back near this Oddish, I'm trying to turn around, and then it disappears, and I'm like, you know, Pidgey, why not? We'll catch this thing for, for, for some experience, because, you know, the more you catch a Pokemon, you still get experience for it, and you get the, uh, Pid the Pokemon candies for that Pokemon. So I'm like, you know what? We'll get a Pidgey, we'll, we could use some Pidgey candies here, and we'll go ahead and catch this little guy here. And uh, we caught the Pidgey, so that's pretty awesome. So we caught an Eevee and a Pidgey so far. And that's pretty awesome, so let's go ahead and get on into these Pokemon that I have here. These Pokemon I have are pretty much all that I've caught so far, and it's pretty cool. So we got an Eevee here. This is the Eevee. We got enough Eevee candies to level the, to evolve this thing. I'll level it up. I'm so used to leveling up. But we're going to evolve this Eevee into a Flareon. Look at the animations. It's pretty cool. Pokemon Go. Did a good job here, Pokemon Go. Look at it. Eevee. Evolve. Into the Flareon. Flareon looks so cool. Uh, at the time that I evolved this, I actually did not know that the moves were dependent on what Eevee evolves into. So I was like, you know, I want to, I want a Vaporeon. I really want a Vaporeon because I was like, you know, water types. Love the water types, but I get a Flareon, which I didn't have a fire type at the time. So I'm like, you know what? We're cool. We're cool with the Flareon. And it's CP336, which is, I think, my highest CP at the time when I was recording this and everything. So <laughs> it was pretty cool. Also, we have this Rattata here, which we're going to go ahead and also evolve into a nice and big, powerful Raticate, which I think I used the Raticate to... I left the Raticate at the gym in the later episode. You guys will see that, but I don't know. I think I did. I'm not sure what I left at the gym. But we got this Raticate here just coming out. Nice and Buck Teeth, the ra Raticate. Buck Teeth, Rug Munch, the Raticate here. <laughs> I always name my Raticate that, but 
Every time I evolve the Pokemon, the Pokemon like sits up like it's above invisible, like it's floating there, but I don't know. We also catch a Venonat here. As you, I'm actually in my house and stuff like that, so I'm actually th I'm, I was like, you know, we're gonna turn AR off because we don't need that. You're just gonna be looking at my computer, so I go ahead and catch this little Venonat there, which is actually pretty cool. I like Venonat. Don't see many Venonat around here. I mean, I've seen a few pop up and occasionally, and then uh, I was like, you know, let's let's catch a Venonat because I really think a Venomoth would be cool to have and stuff like that. But you know. I don't know, we also have a Pidgey here, I'm gonna actually evolve this Pidgey here, The la one of the last evolutions of this episode here today, wrapping it up with an evolution into nice and powerful Pidgeotto, and I would have evolved it into Pidgeot, but I still didn't have enough uh, Pidgey candies to actually evolve it into a Pidgeot, so, you know, bummer, but... We'll hopefully get that Pidgey up very soon, guys, hopefully to come. But if you guys are enjoying this, make sure to leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe for more Pokemon Go content as well. Pokemon Go Adventure this is number two. Hopefully you guys stick with me throughout the Pokemon Go Adventure. As you guys can see, I'm a part of Team Mystic. And that is my character there, level six. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.